must be our goal and our guide. And all that we strive for as a human family, dignity and hope, progress and prosperity, depends on peace. But peace depends on us. Anybody who has been in the military will understand that when at war, in war, with war, you don't court, court martial your soldiers or officers while the war is on. You finish the war first and then investigate the officers or soldiers who might have misbehaved or neglected the duty. This is the doctrine of the institution of war. Today, Kenya is within the war and at war with an invisible enemy called COVID-19. And we must support the efforts of the frontline officials. Then we put them on trial later if there are mistakes. Remember, the country is at the weakest link now, and we cannot afford to deflect the efforts of those soldiers on the front line of fighting COVID-19. Thank you very much, viewers. That is me. Because of the issues that have been there with the truck drivers again, uh, we have recorded uh, three persons in uh, Kajiado. So uh, the Mombasa, Mombasa, as I said, that's why we have had to do the extension. But also, uh, the areas that are concerned continuously now would be Rikoni as well as uh, uh, Shangamwe. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you once again. Uh, today is a busy day because of all the things that are happening in this presser. But I want you to bear with us because we need to get all these things done at the same time. We will extend further comments on these matters in tomorrow's presser. I thank you. Um, so I want us to do the physical uh, presentation, uh, and then we can take a few questions if there are any. Shall we? Ndiyo mana nasema ndugu zangu wa singida, tuchape kazi. Uchumi wetu ni muhimu zaidi kuliko vitu vingine. Ninawaomba sana. 
Kwa hiyo ninawaomba leo juzi ile nili nilipigiwa simu na mheshimiwa Kinyata rais wa Kenya alinipigia nikiwa bado chato akinipa pore na akawa amenielezea mambo haya ya corona corona kidogo na leo nimezungumza naye pia akanieleza na mimi tumekubaliana naye kuna tumegogoro kule mpakani mpakani wa Kenya ni marafiki zetu kuna Wamasai Kenya kuna Wamasai Tanzania kuna Wajaruo Kenya kuna Wajaruo Tanzania kuna Wakurya Kenya kuna Wakurya Tanzania na kadhalika kwa hiyo corona isiji ikawa chanzo cha migogoro cha kutokuelewana tumekubaliana na mheshimiwa rais Kinyata kwamba mawaziri wetu wa uchukuzi pamoja na wakuu wa mikoa kwetu sisi Tanzania ni mkuu wa mkoa wa Mwanza mkuu wa mkoa wa Mara mkuu wa mkoa wa Arusha mkuu wa mkoa wa Kilimanjaro na mkuu wa mkoa wa Tanga watakutana na wenzao mpakani na wenzao wa Kenya wajadili hili swala walimalize tunahitaji biashara wa Kenya nao wanahitaji biashara huko na hii corona isiji ikawa chanzo cha migogoro haiwezekani kila dereva naye kwenda huko awe na corona mbona hata dereva wangu yuko hapa hebu fungua dirisha wewe una corona yuko hapi dereva wangu simama hapa wa kuone kabisa Huyo ni dereva wangu. Tena mgogo. Sasa madereva hawa wote tungekuwa leo tunaenda wote tuna corona. Lakini ninajua haya yatatatuliwa vizuri. Kwa hiyo tumewaachia waziri wa uchukuzi wa Tanzania na waziri wa uchukuzi wa Kenya pamoja na wakuu wa mikoa wanaopatana wayamaliza haya matatizo. Haya matatizo ni madogo ili kusudi wa Kenya wafanye biashara na wa Tanzania wafanye biashara. Nilikuwa naambiwa palikuwa na magari kule yamekuhamishwa ya wa Kenya. Haiwezekani tukawakuhamisha wanakuja kufanya biashara. Lakini pia magari ya Tanzania hayawezi yakakuhamishwa kwenda Kenya. Kwa hiyo ninataka ili nilizungumze kwa sababu niko mpakani pakani hapa na kuna magari mengine yanapita hapa yanatoka Kenya. Ambayo yanakwenda mpaka kwenye mpaka wetu. Kwa hiyo ninawaomba viongozi walioko katika mikoa inayopakana na nchi ya Kenya na Tanzania wasitatue matatizo yao kwa jaziba waweke utanzania na ukenya mbele wazingatie uchumi wa nchi zetu ninafahamu sa nyingine mtu kichokozwa sana ukanyamaza na wewe unachokoza kidogo lakini ninawaomba na kwa vile tumezungumza vizuri na mheshimiwa Kinyata sisi tumeyamaliza. Wakae viongozi watatue hili tatizo na watu wafanye biashara katika pande zote mbili. Haiwezekani mtu anasafiri kwenda nchi jirani anaambiwa akae magari ya subiri mpaka siku tano siku ngapi wakati amepakia labda bidhaa. Nataka wa Kenya na wa Tanzania wafanye biashara yao vizuri. Na niwaombe viongozi katika mipaka hiyo wakae wayajadili haya kwa maslahi mapana ya nchi zetu zote mbili. Huu ni wakati wa kujenga uchumi. Na corona wala haikuanzia Afrika. Ilianzia huko mbali. Na corona imewakoromea wengi kweli hata wale wenye uwezo. Sasa tusije tukafika sisi ndani ya East Africa Community tukachonganishwa tukapata kirusi cha kushindwa kufanya biashara kwa kisingizio cha corona. Kwa hiyo niliona hili nilizungumze ndugu zangu wananchi wa hapa Singida na niwaombe wakuu wa mikoa hiyo wa upande wa Tanzania. Mwanza, Mara, Arusha, Kilimanjaro na Tanga. 
pamoja na waziri wa uchukuzi pamoja na katibu mkuu wa Wizara ya Foreign wapange ndani ya wiki hii wayamalize haya haya mambo ni madogo madogo sana singida oe singida oe tunataka vitunguu vya singida pika uzo mpaka Kenya Tunataka Kenya waje wachukue maziwa hapa. Tunataka sabuni za Kenya zize kuuzwa hapa. Tunataka mafuta ya hapa ya Arizeti yaende mpaka Kenya. Na huo ndio uchumi. Na huo ndio uchumi wa kweli. Na ndugu zangu madereva endeleeni kutulia kwa sababu hili litatatuliwa na serikali zote mbili. Kenya oe. Tanzania oe. Kenya oe. Tanzania oe. La mwisho. Nimewapongeza kwa hatua nyingi nzuri mnazozifanya katika kufanya kazi. Maendeleo ya Singida ni tofauti sana na maendeleo ya nyuma. Singida pamebadilika. Nyumba nzuri zinajengwa, barabara nzuri zinajengwa, biashara nzuri zinafanyika. Endeleeni hivyo endeleeni kushikamana msibaguane kwa sababu ya vyama msibaguane kwa sababu ya dini msibaguane kwa sababu ya rangi sisi wote ni wa Tanzania na lengo letu kubwa ni kujenga uchumi wa nchi yetu nchi yetu sasa inaenda mbele inaenda mbele sana ni katika nchi tano katika Afrika ambao uchumi wake unakwenda juu na ndio maana mnaweza mkaona mabadiliko haya wasione vyaelea vyaundwa na waundaji ni ninyi wa Tanzania ni ninyi wanasingida kwa hiyo endeleeni kuchapa kazi nataka kuwahakikishia kwamba serikali ninayoiongoza iko pamoja na ninyi na ndio maana tunaendelea na miradi mbalimbali ya nguvu ya kimikakati ya kuitengeneza nchi yetu iwe kama Ulaya Siku za nyuma ulikuwa ukiangalia nani alitegemea patakuwa na taza barabarani hapa Singida. Wakati wanawake wa hapa wote weupe, usiku wataukua weupe zaidi. Nasema uongo wa kina mama. Ndio. Na haya ndio maendeleo. Barabara hii siku za nyuma mtu alikuwa anatoka Bukoba, haweza akapita hapa anapitia Kenya. Leo magari yanapita hapa ndio uchumi ndizi zinashushwa hapa ndio uchumi hii barabara ya kwenda babati paka arusha haikuwepo nasema uongo leo barabara inapitika hapa magari yanapita mabasi yanapita tembeeni kifua mbele ndugu zangu wanasingida kwamba serikali mliyochagua serikali ninayoiongoza kwa niaba yenu iko pamoja na ninyi. Tunasambaza umeme kila mahali ili kusudi viwanda vidogo vidogo na vikubwa viendelee kujengwa. Mmeshaanza kilimo cha cha korosho hapa. Endelee. Baadaye mtayaona matunda yake ya maendeleo ya kufanya kazi. Ndugu zangu wana Singida ninawapenda. Ndio maana nimesimama hapa kuwa salimu. Mimi nitaendelea kuwa mtumishi wenu. Mimi ni mtoto wenu. Mlinichagua nitumike. Mlinichagua nifanyeje? Nitumike. Nitaendelea kutumika kadiri ninyi mtakavyokuwa mnaona inawafaa. Lakini nataka kuhakikishia mimi niko pamoja na ninyi katika shughuli, katika laha, katika mateso tutaendelea kuwa pamoja. Na nina uhakika Mungu wetu ataendelea kutulinda. Tumewapa viongozi hapa wanafanya kazi nzuri. Mna mkuu wa mkoa, mna mkuu wa wilaya, mna mkurugenzi na watendaji wengine. Endeleeni kushirikiana nao. Shida haziwezi zikaisha siku moja, lakini tumeenda vizuri na tunaelekea kuzuri. Endeleeni kuchapa kazi ndugu zangu wa Singida kwa ajili ya maendeleo ya nchi hii. Tutafanikiwa. Miradi hii mikubwa tunayoifanya kwa mfano ya kujenga reli ya standard gauge ni ya mabilioni ya fedha ni ya matrioni ya fedha hatukuisimamisha miradi ya umeme ni ya matrioni ya fedha 
miradi yote hii mnayoiona ni kwa sababu tumeamua kwenda mbele katika maendeleo msikuamishwe na wala asitokee mtu wa kuamisha chama vyetu vyote tulivyo navyo virenge katika kutengeneza Tanzania kwanza tuitunze amani yetu tutunze ushirikiano wetu kwa manufaa ya Tanzania yetu singida wewe Tanzania wewe basi ndugu zangu ninawashukuru tena niendelee kuwaomba ndugu zangu leo ni fungo ya 20 na ngapi 26 zimebaki siku chache tusherehekee nawatakia mfungo mwema endeleeni kulitanguliza taifa kwenye mikono ya Mora lakini pia tutakuwa na siku tatu kuanzia Ijumaa, Jumamosi na Jumapili kumshukuru Mungu kwa maajabu aliyoyafanya katika taifa hili na kutuepusha na janga la corona na ninauhakika katika siku zichache corona itapotea Tanzania na itabaki kuwa ni historia tusitishike tukubali kuishi nayo kwa sababu tumeshaishinda na katika Mungu siku zote ushindi unakuwepo singida wewe singida safi ndugu zangu asanteni sana ninawashukuru naomba mniruhusu sasa niendelee kwenda asanteni sana asanteni sana singida mambo 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 Asanteni sana ndugu zangu asanteni sana Mungu awabariki sana. Haya. Whoever hits discipline shows the way to life. But whoever ignores correction leads others astray. That is in the Bible Proverbs 10 to 17. The reason I am quoting this verse, fellow Kenyans, is because the figures that we are hearing today are a clear demonstration that things are not getting better. And people who are telling others that things are better are lying to them. And somehow, somewhere along the line, we seem to have come to the conclusion as a society that things have gone back to normal. Today's figures show things are far, far from normal. Things are very challenging. And those who are exhibiting the indiscipline that I've referred to, leading others astray, are becoming a common phenomenon. The government of the Republic of Kenya has made efforts, concerted efforts, concerted guidelines, and put it out to the public of the Republic of Kenya and the citizens of Kenya. Looking at the trend of what is happening and the events that are shaping around the modeling and the sample modeling of and a comparison with other states in the world, globally, Kenya has done very well. But there seems to be a culture of sliding back, a culture where people want to go back to their old habits. What destroys such an exercise? What brings it to a situation where people need to, to understand that it is not gone yet, it is here. Good morning, viewers. Welcome to Punchline Africa Television, broadcasting all the way from the Republic of Kenya in Nairobi, all the way from the command center of Punchline Africa Television. 
The only television in Africa that minds about Africa, that talks about what aims Africa, defends Africa, stands for Africa, and educates Africa. We seek solutions. We don't seek condemnation. But where we condemn, we give reasons why we have condemned. And that's why we are here today. There will be divergent issues. I want to warn you in advance that some people expect, are not very, very happy with the, some of the activities of sister countries in Africa. And therefore, this show, Diplomatic Leaks, we go behind the scenes to find out what happened, why are things happening like it is. Time and the time memorial, Jomo Kenyatta, Julius Malimu Nyerere, Milito Nobora, Kenneth Kaun, Mondoreni, Patrice Lumumba, Sekuture, Haisilas, Gabriel Nas, Amir Kaburo, Siadi Bare. These are men who stood for a united Africa. Why is Africa falling apart? I'm setting my panel to a trap so that I can hammer them from that trap all in front of you. But my panel is laid tonight, this morning. Whatever you are watching in the United States, thank you very much. Pick a pain and learn something. COVID-19 will not deter us from doing what we are doing, hallelujah, God is on. The God is great. We shall be there. We shall cross the Rubicon and be good people, not to fight back. We pray that God gives us that strength. Viewers on the panel this afternoon, the topic is very clear. I want you to test the waters. Miriam will read the topic just read the topic for us. Diplomatic leaks, that is the topic. All right. A very good morning to our viewers. It's a few minutes past 11 a.m. here in Nairobi. And uh, our topic for discussion today is uh, a silent diplomacy and dialogue can resolve matters. And we are basing our uh, you know, topic today uh, on the, uh, the misunderstanding that Kenya and Tanzania have been having that now seems to be uh, resolved. So uh, that is what we're going to look at today. On my panel today, thank you very much, Miriam, is none than other than Major Retired Bijiwe himself. He's somewhere on duty, decided to pack in his mobile unit, and is going to answer. Thank you for honoring Manchela in Africa Television. Very I'm great honored. thing. You are our person all the time. We are happy. I'm honored, uh, Dr. Matsanga, to be your student, to learn a lot from your wisdom. I told you, in my tribe, Meru, where I come from, we have a lot of respect for elders because elders leave you with wisdom. Every time I interact with you and these uh, experts here, I go away with a measure of wisdom. Thank you. Not like a, I mean, an Asir who insults a poly. That was very disrespectful. And by the way, uh, I, 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 I am <laughs> Yeah, I, I start. You, you, you I start by me. reminding him. I start by reminding him that he's not growing older, and so if he's mocking Atoli because Atoli is an old man, I want to remind Ahmed Nasir Grand Mula is not going anywhere. And by the way, he denied that his advisor of Jubilee he is the co-advisor of Jubilee. They are they are attorney in court, so he cannot throw Jubilee under the bus and himself remain on the bus. If he throws Jubilee under the bus, he follows them there because he was in court for Jubilee. And if you're thinking uh, 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 Dr. William Ruto will make him attorney general, uh, well, they are all men of dreams, and that's not a valid one. Wow. I don't know why I mentioned that name, but thank you very much. Since you're our guest, we won't cut you off, but let's move on. Next in the right corner is our investigative gentleman. So much pleasure, Dr. Matsanga. Seeing. Koinange, 
Voice. Yeah, of course, I've been baptized there by a new name, and uh, I duly take it. And of Thanks course, it's the thing was stronger. Don't worry, that is a yes. job of the yes. day. Yeah, but yes. this, your voice is like a point. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very you. much. You are welcome to the show. In the right left corner is my co host or hostess, senior researcher. Anchor of Bandline, Miriam Ogutu. Thank you. Let's go. A mm -hmm. uh, silent diplomacy versus open roof diplomacy helps to solve things without bloodshed. Mm -hmm. Since we are here last time, this Tanzanian thing has been eating so many people, including the guests, some of the two guests on the show. Two of them are not, I think three of them are it's only me who looks like I will be the odd man out today to defend Wenziangu Toka Chini, na ku defend Wenziangu Toka Kenya. Takua katikati, tasimama between Kilimanjaro and Mount Kenya. My two legs will be there. I'm not stepping out of any of them. Because since 1978, I've been in and out of these two countries. The last time I was here, I'd come here two days before the burial of President late Jomo Kenyatta. On my way to Namanga to become a rebel. Up to today, I've never changed my rebel activities, except I've silenced them for the good of peace. And that's why I talk peace. 78 is when I pass here in a, a trailer by a Somali man who was if in Kitale. He carried us. He left us near Intercontinental. I came to witness that barrio of Muse at that place where he lies today. Kenya and the U Tanzania are the best countries that we have in the Great Lakes region. Why? They have not had the Mavrugano. Uh, the, the, the Mavrugano and Bayo, Ziko Kwa Inchingine Jirad, they are not in Tanzania. They are not in Kenya. Despite the difficulties of 2007, Kenya has relatively remained peaceful. Tanzania has changed the government in the last 35 years or 42 years. Let me go back to 1978. Has changed the four presidents when I'm still in exile. <laughs> you can imagine. So you can relate to what my country is. We still have one president who is still the head of state whom I respect on COVID-19, he's done very well. You need some militarism for some people to fear even driving the car on the road. Because once you are caught, your car, the tires will go. They don't kill you, but they shoot the tires. Then you have the expense of buying tires, which is very expensive than even, you would even say, why did they do shoot me? So we have that situation, and Tanzania has been one of the most peaceful countries. It has changed the government peacefully, transitionally. From Nyerere, Mwinyi, Mupaka, Chikwete, and now Dr. John Pombe Magufu. We have had assassination attempts since 1960. 64, when the, 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 the leader of Shirazi party, Sheikh Abed Karume, was assassinated. You know very well the Ugandan who overthrew the Sultans, <laughs> the oligarchy in the Zanzibar, was a Ugandan. Okero, you remember that? Very powerful, not the Okero, this one, another Okero. 
That is another day for history. But here we are, from that day, Tanzania formed what we call a United Republic of Tanzania, which includes Zanzibar and the Pemba Islands. That unity is as stuck, is still there. We have a president on the Zanzibar side. We have a president on the mainland. And always the vice president comes from the mainland and the Zanzibar too. So thank you, that is the background of Tanzania. Started as a socialist state, indoctrinated its people, created a social, a social structure of Ujamaa. They give people some tea, and I like some places in the world where tea has to be begged for. When you sit down in Tanzania, the first thing Tanzania will give you is tea. La, Marima alisema, kwanza, skriza, nakuja, sambiri, utrende. While you are drinking, indeed, the special branch is coming to take you when you don't know. <laughs> so, that is the experience, Miriam, and seen and the major retired Bijue. The conflict between Tanzania and Kenya could be avoided, and it's going to be avoided. But how long can this conflict be running every year, every year, every year? I think now I'm praying in the hands of Miriam and Bijue. How long? For me, I will not make my decision now, but I will listen first to our guest on this show. That is Major Retired Bijue. We have dialogue, silent uh, diplomacy. Some of us, President Uru Kenyatta, got in touch with Magufuli. They talked. Mr. Magufuli Pombe, doctor, my comrade, also responded, has directed the commissioners on the border from Meru, Kiraitu, and the rest, all of them must go there, sit down, and talk about these things. Come with a solution. Do you think that is the best way they have done it? Did you? Um, thank you, Dr. Matanga. Earlier on, when we were on this, uh, on, the, on a previous show, uh, Frontline Security uh, on Tuesday, we clearly spoke about uh, three nations in this region that need to respect Kenya a little more than they do. Unfortunately, one of them was and still is Tanzania. Uh, I am absolutely angry right now, Dr. Matsanga, because this country, Tanzania, has had problems with East African integration for as long as I can remember. The last time we attempted to, to make a, a, a partnership in East Africa, there were many problems. Most of them came from Tanzania. And the same year I was born is the same year that previous integration you know, disintegrated, 1977. It had left for a decade from 67. And from 67, as you said, there were you know, phenomenal changes in the region, but Kenya had the same president. Now, Kenya, what, uh, what, what Tanzania and the region is going through is what, I mean, what Uganda is experiencing now, a stability of one leader, is what Kenya had experienced from 67 through 77 and 78 when uh, Muzee Kenyatta passed on. So we had one leader, there was consistency and stability of, of national leadership in Kenya. At the same time, Tanzania was going through the same, but our neighbor, Uganda, had a lot of upheavals. There were civil uprisings, there was coup d'etat and, and, and change of government. So there was a lot of uh, activity in the region. But Tanzania never got to the point where they feel they are part of East African uh, 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 integration commission, I mean, uh, East Africa co uh, community. And by the way, diplomatic leaks today tell us that uh, uh, John Pombe Magufuri's excellency wants to actually remove Tanzania now from East Africa co community and take it to SADC. And by the way, uh, this morning I wrote a piece and I said, why don't we let him do it? What angers me, Dr. Matanga, is that for all these years from 1967 until 2020, 
we are begging Tanzania to feel that they are part of uh, East African uh, East African community. It's completely disgusting, and we cannot continue babysitting Tanzania. It's either they grow up and shape up or shape out, because we cannot keep begging them to feel part of us. Why? Why do Tanzania think we need them more than they need us? It was absolutely disgusting, insulting, and disrespectful for their commissioner of uh, one of the regions near our Kenyan border to to even say they are not going to allow a single Kenyan to go through Tanzania. That I have never heard of a more retrogressive leader's mentality than what that commissioner said. He should be so ashamed of himself. And if Tanzania truly is sorry for what he said, they should sack him and remove him from office and he should never be anywhere near any border. That man is a shame to the Republic of Tanzania. And, and, and John Pombe Magufuri, His Excellency, I think he's also towing the line of that commissioner. He's, he's, he's refusing to acknowledge that Kenya is his elder brother and he needs to respect us for who we are. Well, thank you very much. I have heard your views. Let me hear the views of Wesonga. Yes, uh, good morning, Dr. Masanga and uh, the entire panel. So says, my views... In summary, he says, they have had enough. Either shape up okay. or shape up. Yes, What's and... I would also like to carve my opinion along uh, those lines, and I will uh, put it in a uh, sixth BC uh, century uh, fable from Aesop. Uh, if you've read them, uh, there's this fable. He talks about a troublesome crow that is sitting on the back of a sheep against its will. So the sheep is trying to thrust him forward, back and, fo and, and forth, with an intention of getting him off his back. And uh, at one point, the sheep uh, tells the troublesome crow that uh, if it uh, if it, if you did this uh, to a dog, if it was the dog we are doing the, all this kind of nonsense to, then you will have had your dessert served uh, to his uh, sharp teeth. And to this, the crow replied that uh, uh, I know I despise the weak, and I subdue to the mighty, and I know who to flatter with. And uh, also those to uh, those to bully. So, in that sense, it was telling uh, the sheep that uh, because you are playing, uh, you, you are playing the 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 meek, the meek, uh, you, you you are the meek one uh, here in this scenario. So you will forever endure my uh, troubles. I'll, I'll always be a trouble to you. But uh, uh, in essence, also the uh, the crow knows its limits. It cannot go to do the same kind of nonsense that it was doing uh, to the sheep. It cannot take it to the dog because it knows the repercussions. So really, I, I, I tend to sit on the same pew with uh, the major retired Mbijiwe that uh, really as Kenya, we should stamp our power. We should assert what position we hold in East Africa. So with Tanzania, I think we're going to take the same, same route that we've been, uh, we should take with Somalia to really uh, show our might and authority when it comes to all these aspects. Seriously? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I, I think that, 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 you you that, seem that, to be that, alone my, in this, doctor. My panel has, has become very philosophical, uh, that the sheep and the crow and the mighty, in summary, what I am a literature guy, so don't worry about this. Uh, in summary, the song says enough is enough. When you are teaching students, enough is enough. The sheep is tired. The crawl is tired. Everybody is tired of threats, threats. So time comes when the sheep or the crawl could stand and say, Mr. Today, let's finish. Is that the message you are sending? Yes, uh, in essence, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say, to tell our viewers that uh, if you act weak while we amid these kind of provocations and uh, mischievous acts, then uh, the, the other side of uh, the divide uh, will tend to imagine that uh, you cannot try rise to the occasion and uh, really be able to take your rightful position, and uh, they'll take that to their advantage. But uh, if you assert your powers and uh, really demand to get your equal share, in any kind of dispute, then uh, you're going to receive the uh, amount of respect and uh, get what is rightfully yours. So in this case, uh, Kenya has to stand up 
and really tell off Tanzania. These are uh, these games that have been uh, ongoing for quite some time should really be uh, brought to finality. Oh, okay. Let me go to the lady. Maybe she might be on my side. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, let, 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 let's stand, Miriam. Mm -hmm. Enough is enough. That's always stronger. The bottom line is that Kenya has stood. Time has come for Kenya to stamp authority. Major retired the same, says they have had it too much. Every time threats, we go and talk about it, they finish. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow they come, cows cross over Tanzania. They had, some birds cross their bank, people lose property. Mm -hmm. We are the same neighbors. What's your view on this? In, out, in, out. In and this quarrelsome wife. Mm -hmm. And a husband, yes. as if wife and husband, yes. or wife and a wife. And, if and, you are married to, and you're not which I am that. not party to it, I don't want to marry two wives because mm -hmm. my father suffered under <laughs> the, the, the blame while I was watching. Yeah, and, and my and, mother suffered in the same. Mm -hmm. So I always stick to one wife at the door. Whoever wants me as a second, as a husband to come, I'm not a Muslim. I marry only one. Okay. One wife. Yeah. So, to you, Miriam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't think Kenya and Tanzania, we have that relationship. I think Tanzania is a sovereign country. Kenya is also a sovereign country. So we must have a level of respect uh, between these uh, you know, countries. And for the interest of our viewers who perhaps may be joining this and might not be understanding the basis or the premise of our conversation today, let me just give us uh, just a bit of a background information so that you're able to understand. And then I'll give you my thoughts there. Uh, Kenya and Tanzania governments have moved to resolve their border standoff that has passed paralyzed transport for several days over a tedious COVID-19 testing procedure that locked out many drivers. Now, the standoff escalated this week when President Huru Kenyatta announced the closure of the Namanga border and all other routes to and from the country following increased cases of the COVID-19 by drivers from the neighboring country. And by the time he announced the closure, more than 20 Tanzanian truck drivers had been turned away at the border after testing a positive for the virus. This led to a pileup of trucks at the main Amanga border where mandatory testing is done, uh, coordinated by both countries. Now, since the border closure, Tanzanian government officials in Arusha and other border towns have publicly protested, accusing Kenya of discriminating their truck drivers. And also, a top Tanzanian official has accused Kenya of economic sabotage and questioned the reliability of Kenya's coronavirus test kits in an ongoing row over testing at the border. So that is the basis or the premise of our conversation at this morning. So now, my opinion. Just adding on to what, uh, you know, a retired major there, Binjiwe, has just said. But also, I just want to add on the what really troubles me. And we've seen, uh, you know, the, the aggression from Tanzania uh, a, few, a few times before. This is not the first time. And we can see the turn in which they're taking it. Uh, them, according to them, Kenya is trying to sabotage their economy when that is not what is the matter at all. I don't think when President Huru Kenyatta came out uh, to announce these measures, uh, that is where he was looking. President Huru Kenyatta was trying to protect the people of Kenya, uh, you know, from the spread of the COVID-19. But Tanzania seems to have uh, looked at it from a very different angle. And now it looks as though uh, Kenya is trying to sabotage uh, the economy, which is just not the case uh, at this point. And also what really baffles me is the hypocrisy and the double speak uh, from the government of Tanzania because we've seen them come out, uh, President Magufuli himself, and saying, uh, and raising a lot of doubts uh, on, the, on the testing kits there. And that's why he's, he's not been agreeing with the testing uh, in Tanzania, saying those kits are faulty and all of that. So I'm surprised that the drivers that had already uh, tested a positive here in Kenya who were turned back to go back to Tanzania, they now tested them again and found that they were negative, which, which baffles me. So if you don't have uh, the confidence in those, t uh, in those kits to even test the population of Tanzania, how now then are you going to come out here and talk with confidence that now the same kits that you're doubting, you tested these Tanzania drivers who are brought back to Kenya after they tested positive in that other side, and now you tested them with the same kits that you've been doubting, and now you want to come here and tell us with 
confidence that uh, they've tested negative and now you have your faith in this same uh, you know testing case so that is w what baffles me the hypocrisy and the, uh, the double speak of by the Tanzania uh, you know authorities there so perhaps they, they should clear up uh, that for us thank and you very much to add to add on that dr matanga real quick uh, very very uh, disgustingly and mockingly <laughs> the commissioner who threatened uh, our country our drivers from not going into 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 uh, tanzania uh said they had tested 19 kenyan drivers and found them to be positive as my sister is saying how when did tanzania start testing we don't even know the current uh, COVID-19 cases in Tanzania. They have muzzled the media, they have muzzled the Ministry of Health. Uh, uh, Wetsonga the other day told us that even the American Embassy has been complaining in Tanzania that they have bad information. So if they want to use that as the bone of contention, truly, Dr. Matsanga, like I said in the article I wrote this morning, it, it is that there are underlying issues. This is only an excuse. They have now found a scapegoat to get even with Kenya. But there are deeper issues. And what disappoints me is that our leaders, instead of you know, issuing stern you know, statements and, 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 and warnings, I hear now Baba Raila Molo Odinga is traveling to go and beg Magufuli. For what? Why are we even begging them? Let, them, let him go, let him sign and get out of, let, let, let's have Tanzania exit, like Brexit. Tanzania exit or TZ exit, let's have it. Let them leave the community. Why are we begging Tanzania? By the way, what value have they had here except some little headache to us? Yes, and uh, I would like to maybe just chip in uh, to maybe uh, oh, strengthen. Uh -huh. Okay, you go ahead. The three reasons you are. Okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> you only mean to fight with the fire. We we will just burn it. So, Dr. Uh, Matango will do the firefighting. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I would like just to strengthen the arm that uh, uh, Major Retired Mbijiwe has uh, shown up. And, uh, you know, if you look back in history, even uh, the most impeccable uh, diplomats like uh, Henry Kissinger of uh, the United States of America, uh, he did once say that a country that uh, demands uh, moral perfection in, uh, foreign, in its foreign policy will achieve neither perfection nor security. So really, there's no need of playing the good, um, uh, the, uh, the, the good Uncle Sam in this uh, kind of engagement with Tanzania. I think it has been quite long. And uh, of course, Dr. Masanga has talked about uh, uh, since the days we had uh, Malimu Julius, Julius Nyerere up to the day of Magufuli today, we are still having these uh, 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 hot and cold uh, kind of relationship with Tanzania. So really, we need to define uh, the kind of relations uh, that we are having with our neighbors. These are our neighbors, and they really need to show us our, their intentions so that uh, we can forge a very progressive path in future rather than uh, leaving perpetual fear and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and doubts uh, between uh, the two countries. Dr. Matanga, could we, could we speak a little more than you interject because you are our host? Let's yes. get a little academic here. Yes. In the international system, there's what we call anarchy. It's a characteristic of international system. Go ahead. Um, I'm just adding towards my brother. All the, and just like my brother quoted uh, Kissinger, one of the most renowned diplomats in the world, it is that Countries deal with each other according to their own interests. The interest of a nation supersedes the whole, the whole, uh, you know, hula baloo of respect and 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 truly, I think Kenya has never, you know, uh, stamped our feet on the ground and treated Tanzania according to our national interests. Why are we trying to treat the East Africa community, the ESC, as though it is the prefect of our relationship with Tanzania? Clearly, Tanzania does not respect that kind of approach. In spite of the East Africa Community Pact and, 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 and partnership and brotherhood, President Magufuli refused even to appear on a Zoom video with his colleagues in the region to decide on the way forward for COVID-19. So Tanzania has, has painstakingly and, 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 and disrespectfully disregarded the ESC's 
ENC. So why are we treating East Africa community as though it is the system that will oversee us? Let's apply some anarchy into this thing. There is absolutely no nobody who's going to supervise us. And let's front our national interests first and kick Tanzania where they'll feel it. I'm refusing to use those American terms. One would have been very disgusting. Let's kick them somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I totally agree. And uh, maybe yeah, just... You have, you, have, you have had your time. This is here from... <laughs> <laughs> this is here from William. Yeah. William, I know yeah. that. Then I, have, so yes, so I would like my viewers, <laughs> yes. our viewers to, to, to know... Yes. That I'm the only old man on this farm. No, it's not. It's not, doctor. It's not that we. <laughs> I'm not. I'm trying to be neutral on this. It's only that we are dealing with the facts of the table, and the okay. facts on the table is that, okay. uh, you know, as uh, from from that announcement that President Huru Kenyatta made in regards to just, uh, you know, uh, the movement in and out of Tanzania because of the high numbers that uh, we were getting of COVID-19 uh, uh, positive uh, from that uh, from that boundary. Uh, before that, we did not have any other problem except the ones we've seen in the past and those ones it has not escalated to a point where and uh, now we are seeing and from what this official in Tanzania was saying that Kenya is up to sabotage uh, Tanzania's economy I don't think that was uh, the intention of President Huru Kenyatta so they it, it is a misunderstanding and because of this uh, you know instead of that official coming out and speaking the way he spoke which he was very very disrespectful to the Republic of Kenya and I will retaliate what uh, retired Major General there mentioned earlier Tanzania should make this official, uh, you know, uh, apologize to us the same way they made one of our television stations. They apologized when they felt President Magufuli was disrespected, and that was okay. So we need an apology uh, from the government of Tanzania on behalf of this person, because who was he speaking on behalf of, I'm sure, as doctor, you've been telling us, they cannot speak unless they're speaking on behalf of the president. So President Magufuli should come out and, 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 and speak about this, and Kenya will demand an apology, because that man was very disrespectful to the republic and the leadership of Kenya and so that should be made uh, you know should be made open like that because it is it was very disrespectful so on Wednesday, President Magufuli announced on a tour to Singida region that the COVID-19 pandemic will not threaten uh, the association of Kenya and Tanzania. And we agree because COVID-19 will come and will go, but Kenya and Tanzania will still remain. So the best approach uh, for President Magufuli would have been to call our, uh, you know, President Huru Kenyatta before making those very damaging uh, pronouncements because we still need each other. Uh, Kenya, Tanzania, we trade. We still need each other. We've lived with each other. We, we've had a great relationship, maybe not as, as colorful, but we We've had a great relationship, uh, you know, generally. So we still need each other. So with that <coughs> understanding, uh, President Magufuli should have called, the right thing for him to have done, should have called President Huru Kenyatta because they talk. And I've seen a lot of times President uh, Kenyatta referring to him as a big brother because uh, Magufuli is, is a little older uh, that, uh, than our president. And we've seen President Huru Kenyatta even while addressing him. He has a lot of respect uh, for President Magufuli, which is, which is okay and is laudable. So President Magufuli should have uh, called President Kenyatta and asked what is the problem and how can we solve this matter instead of coming out and making those statements that he made that are very careless that are very div divisive that are not very cohesive and now this adds up to the bigger problem of the east african community where uh, you know tanzania has one has been one of the countries that has really been uh, drawing us back in terms of moving forward as 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 a community as, as this block of east african community but that is a conversation for another day but uh, president magufuli should have called fast should have made conversation fast with president kenyatta before making those statements there in public because when President Kenyatta was at make, announcing these measures, he was not disrespectful. He was not. He was not talking as if Tanzania is our enemy because Tanzania is not our enemy. And so they, I think it was just a misunderstanding, and it should have been dealt with uh, in private and in you know instead of just coming out and making these uh, you know worrying uh, comments that we've seen from the Tanzania officials. Thank you very much, Miriam, Daniel, and uh, yes, sir. Uh, Yes, I think uh, I agree in totality with uh, what Miriam is saying. And uh, of course, the president, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta, made uh, these decisions uh, in the good interest of the people of the Republic of Kenya. Because if these borders were not closed, then uh, Kenyans would be trying so much to observe these health measures only for Tanzanians to trickle in and uh, uh, bring increase our numbers of uh, positive cases in the country. So. I would like just to um, support the president on that. And we understand that uh, the state is a fragile organization and uh, no statesman or leader 
she will have the moral right to uh, to risk its uh, its survival on ethical uh, restraint. So this was a decision that uh, really was for the good faith of the people of Kenya. And uh, it, I, I, I truly concur with the president. So maybe perhaps President Magufuli uh, took it out of proportion. And uh, maybe just to also add to whatever we were talking about last week, uh, they should deal with their own problems. And they, I feel like they are, it is a government under a lot of pressure and a siege. So they should not let that trickle uh, back to Kenya in terms of uh, the, 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 the aggression, the necessary aggression that we are facing at the moment. You know, you know, Wetonga, in my tribe, <laughs> you have to in my tribe, let me just honor my tribe a bit with one line. Put my submission. Yes. Yes. And Miriam, can you take over the chair that I now take? <laughs> Yes. All right. So now let's, let's Let, allow. Let's hear the diplomatic leaks dip, official <laughs> from the red corner, uh, Doctor. Yeah, from the red corner. Yes. 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 Thank you the very much. Corner. Thank you very much, viewers. In 1963, the Organization of African Unity was formed, called the OAU. Yes. The first Secretary General of the Organization of African Unity. Among those was Dr. Salim Ahmed Salim Ahmed of Tanzania. As a peacemaker, peace lover, a conflict resolution expert who walks this continent of Africa, I want to make my submissions. Yes, there are quarrels. Yes, we have been fixed. We've lost, we lose. But there is one thing that Africa needs. And the one thing that Kenyatta is striving for to get in this country is unity. The unity of purpose that Africa wants is the unity that we are talking about today. The unity that will deliver Africa, recognize that Africa is a continent that will serve the world in the future. The test of that unity is on COVID-19. We either do it well or we do it badly. We don't have an option. We must do it well or we perish. Either we wash our hands or we perish. Either we, if we don't unite, we perish. It is unfortunate that COVID-19 has accelerated the, the differences of Tanzania and Kenya. I've lived in both countries. 78, when Major retired, was being born. Around there, I was already with a gun, AK-47. I lived around Tanzania. I've lived in Kenya, as I've told you. The body of doctor of the dead president Jomo Kenyatta found me here. I witnessed it. I love both countries. And for because of both the love of those both countries, I will stand firm and defend silent democracy, uh, diplomacy. The silent diplomacy that has been used to bring these two countries together is what we should encourage. I know emotions will run high, but emotions now with COVID don't help. You either allow emotions to take you or COVID. My friend here has, 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 has quoted Kissinger. But while Kissinger was saying that, Israel never gave any hoot. They did not wait. I think you know where Kissinger comes from. He's still alive today. While Kissinger was saying that, what was he doing to apartheid region in South Africa? What was he doing to the Declaration of Independence? 
What was Tanzania doing? Tanzania was giving freedom to the people of Angola, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Tanzania. How many times has Mozambique, Tanzania been bombed by South African army? How many assassinations have taken place in Tanzania? The assassination of Mondelein, the first leader of Mozambique. I want to bring to the notes of Major Retired Bijewe, an expert in security. A letter bomb was put at the door inside the house as Mondelein opened the, the letter he died. It blew him in the house in Tanzania. Tanzania has helped in the liberation of Africa. Three quarters of Africa, Southern Africa, has been liberated because of Tanzania. When Idi Amin was butchering us, it was Jomo Kenyatta and Nyerere who stood firm to give us passage throughout in Kenya, through Namanga, to go in Tanzania, in Tabora, na Chingwea, in Ruvuma, to train as rebels to come and take over, remove the cannibal called Idi Amin. Remember again, Bijiwe, that when Biafra needed independence, the only country in Africa which started the movement of giving Tanzania, giving Biafra independence, was Mwalim Julius Nelere, Tanzania, followed by Uganda, Dr. Milton Obote, followed by Kaunda, followed by Emperor Haislas, they decided to back Biafra against General Yakubu Gowan, General Mohamed Buhari, General Olesek Osobasango, General Abacha, General Babangita. These are the murderers who murdered the people in Biafra. Nyerere stood firm. He took a decision with Jomo Kenyatta and the rest. Remember those two leaders used to work together. Like the son, President Jomo Kenyatta is working together with John Magufuli. Kenyatta was more moderate. He could only allow us to, to, to do everything here, to hide our guns in the way In Chebu Tais, in Chebu Kube, in Mama Sarah's house. Mama Sarah, long live. Elijah Mwangale, long live. Kenya, in the pan paper, where we hid seven of the guns before we went to attack Idi Amin. Long live. So, I, among the three, I stand firm to say, dialogue should stand. Mm -hmm. Tanzania is a sovereign state, media massive. Uganda, sorry, Kenya is a sovereign state. Time has come because of our poor foreign policy. And don't forget a few days ago, Mr. Bijiwe, I killed with the same stuff. What did we say? He said there is a poor foreign policy. You don't know why they shoot our plane and we jump through the window to run away from the shooters. <laughs> Instead of returning fire, today it has erupted in Somalia. Somali nationals are saying there are different troops who have come on our soil who we don't know their mandate. Has Kenya made any noise? Kenya hasn't. 
But given all that shortcomings, the relationship between Tanzania and Kenya has been a rocky one. You know why? If you go to Tanzania and Dar es Salaam, they will allow a Ugandan very fast to go, but the Kenyan passport will be school tonight. The same thing fed Kenyans you suffer in South Africa. If South Africa can find a big jewel like that at night, they will bungle him very nicely. I know. But if they find Matanga walking on the streets and says I'm a Ugandan, they will, escort they will even escort me to my hotel. <laughs> I will tell you why they stole my briefcase at John Smart Airport. They, they brought it and threw it at the at night. They threw the briefcase, of course, they took the money. But when they saw by then the airport was called John Smart Airport, which is Oliver Tambo now. They threw it at the hotel where I was staying. My passport, because they saw it was a Uganda. But they took the money. You remember there was a lot of thuggery around South Africa where they hijack you from the airport. You are coming. You think it is a traffic jam. Yet, it are thieves. The cars in front are thieves. The cars behind are thieves. So they they, they, <laughs> they block the bus and take everything. Out of it. OK. We don't have much time. But we, I want to tell you. What President Uru Kenyatta and President Magufuli did yesterday, I allowed it. Uh -huh. One, let them start talking. Two, on 18th of February, the you Africans who are in the studio now camped in one studio in the car, one studio somewhere in the house, and the general ma ma boss in the general. You don't write, you don't read people's things. You read people's names. People read Bijiwe by name. They dismiss Bijiwe, but they don't listen to what Bijiwe says. I think you have found people will read Wesonga, people will read Miriam, but they name Miriam who oh, good to oh, no, no, no. But they don't read what Miriam has written. On 18th of February 2020, the year of our Lord. I wrote a document circulated to all African countries, telling them that the Japan, having studied international intelligence systems, when I see an American leaving, <laughs> you leave. Uh, <laughs> if you see an American saying all essential commodities, children, baggage, hamburger, Baga, pack it. You also pack your clothes. If you have a tone shirt, a tone suit, pack it and look for an aircraft and a go. If you are stupid, then you will be caught. Don't blame that Matanga never told. When the Americans started leaving Wuhan, because I'm coming to the problem why. Kenya and the Tanzania is exploding. It's an important disease. You people are not seeing the problem. This disease of COVID-19 is not ours. It was imported. It's an important disease. And the time has come for Africa to put its left heads together to choose. I warned you. I warned you. Miriam, I warned you, I told you that Dr. Tedros, he's in good goose, his goose is cooked. His leg is cooking in the pot. What is the first country that has kicked the, the war between, between World Health Organization and its African country? What's the country called? Mauritius. Every African, even Kagame yesterday said to her, is indeed Kagame who picked her phone to talk to Dr. Tedros mm -hmm. and thanked him so much. 
We have double standards ourselves. The only man who has no double standards is this one here. I tell you as it is. I told you that East or West, Dr. Tedros, will, the man who imported the disease, that is killing us here. This is imported disease. Where is it in Africa? Where? It is here. It is killing us here. But we do not grow it. Why are we turning our attention on fighting Africa to Africa? Can Africa for the first time unite and fight this man called China who manufactured this disease in a laboratory in Wuhan? Why has Mangufuli become so great, so, so demonized? Why has Kenyatta become so demonized? Why is Museveni become so demonized? Why has every president in Africa were we prepared for this? Were we prepared for this? Did we listen to Matanga's letter on 18th of February? Give me an answer. Dr. Matanga, <laughs> I know. And I, I, feel, to my letter? No. I feel your I feel your anger because it's not Africa the same anger you have on Magufuli. Yes. From China. Let me tell you, African Why leaders, China? African leaders. Doctor. African leaders don't listen to anyone except themselves and their cronies. Unless a script fits what they want to do. Unless a script. Now, uh, 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 President of Tanzania, Dr. Pome Magufuli, until there's a scientist and a doctor in Tanzania who says what he says and believes what he believes about COVID-19, mm -hmm. he will suck them. Dr. Dr. Matanga, did you hear the mockery? the president of Tanzania poured on the scientists of Tanzania and the doctors of Tanzania by telling us they could not even know a sample that came from a popo. He called the popo an. The, the popo was ca called an. And then he gave he gave another sample from a petrol engine, a, an engine engine oil. Even the, the doctors in Tanzania cannot even the t tell the, the, the genetic makeup of a sample to know this is a plant, this is, this is petroleum, President, President John Paul Magufuli mocked the, the intellectuals of Tanzania because what they were saying is not fitting in his script. Mm -hmm. Your letter was ignored by African leaders because maybe what you told them was not fitting in their script. And African leaders have a script they want to implement every day to use it to steal money, to use it to, to appoint their cronies into power, to use it to look at that madman in Burundi now. He has called himself the supreme leader, the Ayatollah of Burundi. And now he has appointed his own crony to be voted for today. And they'll vote for the crony, and the man will become the Ayatollah of Burundi. Shame on these African leaders. Well, <laughs> All right. Thank you so yes, much. And, uh, yes, sir. I, I had a lot of trouble meeting. Yes. Because you people have a lot of time. <laughs> Take your time, Doc. Let me make my point. I am not saying Magufuli's behavior and this thing is i am not going to judge let's call a spade he was a testing he was let's, testing let's purpose and engine oil dr matanga and, 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 and I, want, I want you people to be diplomatic we are this is diplomatic leak, this is diplomatic leak. it's leaked with fact we can't yes, be so diplomatic and, and maybe, we have leak. And, and maybe maybe <laughs> to add on uh, what uh, retired Major Mbijiwa said, you know, Tanzania is a very unique country. And uh, they say, uh, Dr. Masanga, that uh, history repeats itself uh, first as an event and uh, secondly as a tragedy. And I think what is happening uh, right now in Tanzania is history Why repeating itself so as a tragedy. First as a because... tragedy, then it is a tragedy. So where is the yeah. tragedy here? <laughs> you, you know, you know the, number, the numbers as it is right now in Tanzania, the American embassy already told us that uh, the hostels are overwhelmed. And you remember uh, Major Richard Mbijiwe? Uh, in history, in Tanzania, we had uh, this leader who was called uh, Kinjekechile Ngwale, who yeah. told uh, who lied to Tanzanians that uh, if they, uh, they, they 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 mix a best of flour oh, yeah, yeah. and yeah. apply to themselves, the bullets will not be uh, will not be able to kill them. And it is the we same have, script. Wait, only that wait, we have the incarnate of Kinjekitile. We have the incarnate of Kinjekitile Ngwale in, in Dr. Magufuli. 
That's yes. the incarnate. He's alive again in him. He's about to tell people. He's about to tell people to wash themselves with water so that. Hold the fire. Hold the fire. President Mike held. is a PhD holder in chemistry. It doesn't matter. Please. I does not even believe in the same science. He cannot use, he cannot use water. Water. To, 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 oh, please. He's using it. He said people should drink Malimau. You mean there are no Malimau in Italy or Spain? Or Germany, or, or USA, mm -hmm. where people have died, they don't know how to drink limau. Please. <laughs> yes. Very much, I am not going to give up. I still believe Tanzania. <laughs> yes. I, 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 yes. Yes. Must and have, if he asks me to apologize, like Citizen TV, he will get zero apology from me. <laughs> And a lot of Kenyans, no, no, I may, believe. But listen. May, maybe that's but, right. Listen, yeah. Yes, I am yes, the, Dr. Aron, but I'm not yet done. Yes, doctor, Dr. I, I Dr. Feel, Masanga, I feel, this one. Yes. I still yeah, believe. This one, mm -hmm. This, this one is maybe just to uh, give you a positive note on whatever you've uh, put across. I believe you've really uh, brought out a very clean history and a proud history of Tanzania. Uh, in uh, the struggle in East Africa and uh, the rest of Africa in uh, assisting the liberation uh, through its successive uh, regimes. And that is something that, uh, uh, despite having some reservations for President Magufuli, I would really like to loud. Uh, but one thing we have to realize also is that uh, not very often do nations learn from uh, their past and uh, rarely do they even uh, take some uh, correct conclusion from it? So as far as Tanzania has been quite of uh, great uh, essence uh, to the liberation of many African countries, and it has offered a helping hand in uh, many of East African countries. But uh, Magufuli, the, I think the leadership at the moment really uh, betrays that uh, glorious past that uh, Tanzania had. So to me, in the past, they have done well, but uh, being faced with the current situation, I think Tanzania lacks uh, uh, some good leadership uh, from uh, the current president. Mm -hmm. For me, because I can see Major wants to run, his next meeting is next. My position is we need a coherent strategy. A harmonized strategy. We all need potatoes from Tanzania. Oh, there are some from Kina. Wait, wait, wait. And more. Our <laughs> no, no, please. I know you want to finish this uh, Tanzania thing. But wait, let me also put my view. Our minister, friend of mine of agriculture, whom I love so much, Amango de Miru. He, he likes me so much, Munya. Because one day somebody talked to some nonsense when Munya was East African community minister. He shot the person in front of so many people. Yesterday, Munya shocked me. When he announced that we don't have food, yeah, I, I, you can shout in that helicopter of yours where you are seated now because you are about to fly out. But <laughs> you know you don't have food here. You don't. Munya announced yesterday that there is no food. Very soon we are running dry. It was the Minister of Agriculture. In fact, we, we better start killing those locusts and keep them. Because if Tanzania border is closed, mm -hmm. we are going to starve here. We are going to starve here. He said yesterday, and that is why it is very important for us, and I thank President Uru Kenyatta for having engineered a telephone call that will make sure that we get laboratory testing machines. Mm -hmm take them to the border points of Lungarunga and the border points of Namanga. Like M7 has taken the only laboratory sta station, the whole hospital in a van is in Mutukula. You wait there, eat your mandazi and whatever, while your results come. If they come positive, mm -hmm. you hand over the keys of your truck. Yes. 
and then you go as a prisoner with a gun, AK-47 is to you to Doc. inside the quarantine. Doc. So, here we have a problem. I know, and I am telling you, if we don't normalize that relationship, yes. the food in Nairobi, the food in Mombasa, we are running dry. Yes, doctor. Those, those yes. potatoes come from Arusha, Mochi, yes. Tanga, and the onions and all that. And we understand. And the onions. Yes, and, the, and, and the, by the way, across there, yes. those who have never gone to Taveta, a cross point, one point, border point, the roads are fantastic. They, this road is roll, roll, and bring this Put good opening and cabbages. Yes. They are all in Kenya. Yes, Taveta is is not where someone has grabbed the land again. Uh, the deputy has run there. Doctor. There's nothing growing yes. there. Yes. So, let me tell you, let's talk to Magufuli. I believe and I submit that silent diplomacy is the way to and go. Nairo and and, is and the and best way. And I agree with you. Uh, I agree with you partly. I think we, we we need to approach this in a diplomatic way. I have no qualms with that. But also we just need to call out the facts as they are moving forward so that uh, this relationship between Kenya and Tanzania is, is an honest one. If you have a problem, uh, President Magufuli, just call President Huru Kenyatta and let it be sorted out. Let it not come and play out the way we saw it playing out now that is bringing out other matters that are not really there. And I watched that news by, you know, uh, you know C.S. Moon there Kenya has no food and as a Kenyan I felt very ashamed uh, because we've seen so many times uh, how the cartels and some government officials in this country are colluding uh, to rob our farmers who have put so much of their work into into producing food to feed this country so now you're telling us you cannot support our farmers you're stealing from our farmers the money that is meant to uh, to, to allow our farmers have subsidized uh, you know fertilizers and all that we've seen it uh, you know the cartels are stealing and selling it at a very high prices when our farmers work so hard, the maize is there, we don't buy it, it is rotting yeah. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the, yeah. and now we have to talk about we don't have food in this country. I felt very yeah. ashamed, and yeah. the yeah. government, yes. Yeah. 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 Good to madam. Yes. You are saying, be honest, be frank. No, no, let me finish. Let me just finish. Yes. Friends, and they vote me from Uganda. And that's what I'm saying, because we have... The government, mm -hmm. that man is there. That man was giving a cabbage in Kiambu. That yes, man and, and other men, they're ah, all over They are all over this country. So, no, let me finish and my point. he was point. giving cabbage to, a, to a pastor. <laughs> Since when is a pastor a poor person? <laughs> he, he, he got his cronies. He got his cronies. They to receive. All the maize in Uganda. So it they is brought green, green maize. Well, so don't keep quiet about this. Green maize. Yeah. Have you ever seen green maize? And now we're here saying Kenya does not have food. I felt yes. so ashamed. Now you are saying Kenya has no food. It is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. Stood yesterday. The other one told us, let's eat rockers. He's gone. Now another one from Meru, Mr. Mwinyas, yesterday said, the, the country has no reserves. No. Yes, and uh, Dr. Matsanga. Yesterday, today, are saying their food, the, their maize was not even bought. It was not. Someone, yeah, and, so we, we keep. And, and uh, we, we had farmers complaining that the, ma the maize was rotting in the in the cereal stores. Yes. So we, we, yes. So we keep molesting we our farmers. We keep. We keep. We keep. Because the thing. Wait. There are things that we should, we should not be. We should not be importing in this country. Talk about potatoes. Yeah. When you, when you drive through, because that is my route going to my village in Molo, yeah. whatever we make stopovers and we buy them. So those are things that we can actually produce for ourselves. And I don't have a problem at trading between Kenya and Tanzania. It's okay. I mean, that's how we've lived and and it's fine. Hey, listen, but listen, Kenya Dr. Matanga. No, Dr. Kenya, Matanga. Can I finish? Can I finish my point? Please. I have. Can I, I have a point. <laughs> Dr. Matanga, because my helicopter is about to take off now, listen, let me make a point. Yes. <laughs> Today, our viewers and Dr. Matanga have seen something. That there is a generation of a young people. This includes Mwenda Mbijiwe, Miriam, Wesonga. This generation is not the wartime generation. This is not the Matanga generation that was fighting in the bush. 
We, oh. Ma, Dr. Matanga, we were not there negotiating for East Africa community. Our generation feels that Tanzania is trying to put, well, sorry, let me, let me rephrase. <laughs> Tanzania is trying to slap us on the face. I almost said something bad. <laughs> so, so our generation here feels we will not but, take crap but, from you Tanzania. Are you are Listen, not your wait, 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 wait. Leave our maze alone. <laughs> Dr. Matanga, Tanzania imports, Tanzania imports even toothpick from Kenya. They import blue band. They import <laughs> cooking oil from Kenya. It should not look like if, if we don't buy their maize, Kenya is going to die. They will also not have cooking oil. They will not so, have petroleum oil. They will not have, you know, the unga and all these things. We know it's a country that has no industries. So... Oh, <laughs> the general man is on fire. Yeah. We are not going to accept. First of all, let's make our our, our, our situation better. Good. For all that, you see that that uh, commissioner who was insulting us at the border, they can keep their food for all that we care. We we will stay here, starve here, but keep our respect. We cannot have a, a belly that is full but insulted. I would rather keep my anger and my respect than fill my stomach and lose my respect. Tanzania needs to respect us. Yes, and uh, maybe to what Major says, you know, in my community there is a saying which says that uh, he who feeds you can uh, insult your mother while you watch. Of course, you cannot allow that. In okay. my tribe, you okay. insult my, my mother. Also in my culture, let me also bring. We don't crowd <laughs> and they here. And don't feed us like the that. In the scene in your compound. <laughs> it's the moon seen in your compound alone. Yes, we are so here because we want a united Africa. And we do. Thank you. And we do. Thank you. And that we do. Finally, the professor that. has agreed with the young men here. <laughs> we do. Thank you. And Tanzania we... does not see the moon only from Tanzania. Wakwenda uko. See to the table now. The moon from the man who serves. The, 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 who serves. You, you don't see the moon with the man who serves. The man is in it. A rift valley. That man who gave his business partner to bring him yeah. We are to it. Chuma Chawio Kimotoni is 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 uh is his metal is in the fire like they would say in Kiswahili literally. We are to watch here. 2022 is loading. He will see what he has never seen. Let's sort Ma Magufuli first. Yes. We must fix Magufuli problem first. Let, let's, sort ma yes. let's find a solution. Doctor, by the way, Muliba Maindi, Muliko Maindi. We will not have there food. Is, what a shame. There's no potatoes. There's no onions. No wafunge. These are our leaders now. Honor. President Kenyatta should have some guts. Why are we begging Tanzanians? Let them close our border. But in fact, after this, I'm calling Baba. I'll tell him, drop that trip. Don't go to Tanzania. Why are we begging these people? No, and by the way, citizens of Tanzania, no, it is not the citizens. It is this, it is this foolish, it is these leaders who are who put on some kind of foolishness and treat Kenya as, as if we don't matter. Dr. Matanga, before I take off, listen, I can assure you in my generation, Tanzania will treat us with respect. If they don't, Wakwenda Sadak, I hear they want to go to Sadak. Let them come for discharge certificate. They go and join Sadak. Why are we begging them? Why in, the, in fact, listening to from your history, it's like there have been more Sadak than East African. They were they were supporting fighters in uh, in uh, in Mozambique, uh, the the ANC. So let them go to their folks. Nini to Nashinda Kupegi Watu to stay in East Africa that they don't risk. Our president, Sarva Kir, uh, 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 Kagame, Uhuru Kenyatta, Museveni, they had a, a Zoom conference meeting like this one, and he did not attend. What kind of disrespect is that? And then we beg him at home to Nataka Mahindi. We don't need this mess. Akula yo Mahindi uko. Let me tell you also, as much as you don't want Mahindi, the Minister of Agriculture, Mr. Munya, wants Mahindi. Peru said there is no. Nikubaya, Nikubaya, Nikubaya. But, but also, doctor. But also, doctor. Doctor, can I can I say something? If the border, Miriam, if I, the border is closed, yeah. I know your helicopter is about to take off. Yes. If the border <laughs> is closed, let me tell you, my brother, 
you might have no food in Meru. But here's the thing, and I think now the fact that, uh, you know, the CSO... No tomatoes, no cabbage, no nyanya, hakuna kitu. Sasa nyanya, mulishika, unaleta green maize in Rift Valley. Green Doctor. maize. Doctor. Here's the thing, and when I when I watched that news yesterday, okay, as a I Kenyan, need, I, as I a was Kenyan, the unit of Africa. yes, and 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 I'm here for a United. I die with the community. unit of Africa. Let me die hungry, but let me have Africa united. I'm not. No. Going to Wait, you. Miriam, Miriam, Miriam. <laughs> he's, not let, Miriam. he's not letting me talk. So maybe I should yes, just. Let me also I, die hungry, but die with my respect. <laughs> let right. me die hungry, but die with my respect. Mm -hmm. Die with your respect, but be united. Yeah, and we, we are all your, for. We are all for are united you, Africa are, because. Are you not condemning COVID? One nine, I which was brought by Chinese. Yes. Why are you condemning him food? And China has given China has given Why? two billion to the World Health Organization after US, you know, threatened to, China to, to, million stop, what? to stop China supporting. Gave an African a Ruben, yes. a fifth, a fifth from London, from many times. Doctor Tedros the fifth. All right. I but, know but him from 1987. Don't but, bring those problems. But, but back to the back to the conversation. Want me to doctor. tell you more? Mm -hmm. Just yes, shut up. Ever. The, professor, the professor is on fire. Yes. <laughs> He's about to take prisoners. No prisoners today. <laughs> For going to meet Magufuli, they must meet and remain the spirit of Nyerere must grow up. By the way, the spirit of by the, way. Ruma, the spirit of Jomo Kenyatta, the spirit of Obote, Sekuture, Kuruma, it must. Nasa, oh. Tanzania, I Tanzania must, needs. Tomorrow, Marshal, Mondarini, Agustino Neto. And we agree. Acha. So we agree. We need a united Africa because united we are much stronger like that. United East Africa is much stronger like that. But also we have to sort out this this unnecessary misunderstandings that are through uh, you know the different countries so that we are able to unite together in a more in a more level-headed manner. So this issue. Don't worry, Miriam. Yes. When yes. you are the PS for for Interior. Yes. And I'm running the defense docket, there and the uh, Wetonga will be the cabinet secretary of, of East Africa. Yes. He will fix this mess. <laughs> we will never be disrespected <laughs> again. not be. Around. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and maybe uh, to just add on what uh, Miriam has said. One of my sons, one of my sons will be singing with the okay. song. And yes. Miriam. We, we want a united <laughs> Africa. Don't, don't, uh, but yes. we want a united respect. Africa. Don't get us Miriam, wrong. Maybe, We're not against. Maybe, maybe to what Miriam said, but just to balance it. But let's not put a bandage or on, yeah. on a wound. Let's, let's, that wound heal so that it's treated well, so that we move forward in a much cleaner uh, slate. And as it is now, like I was no. saying there, yesterday when I was watching that news, uh, the Kenya does not have food. It bothered me as a Kenya because where we are today, 21st century, <coughs> Kenya should be food secure. Yeah. And so this is a challenge to President Huru Kenyatta's government and because I know one of his key agendas in the uh, Big Four agenda is to have a food secure Kenya. So uh, President Huru Kenyatta and his government needs to grow, go back to the drawing board and see why is it that even the most basic things that Kenya should, is able to, should be able to provide for itself we still need to import from outside and these are very serious conversations uh, that President Huru Kenyatta and his uh, leadership should uh, sit down in, if at all he wants to uh, you know, achieve one of his goals which is to have a food secure Kenya. I was ashamed. I was baffled, but I was not really surprised because they can tell us. not been yes. ashamed more when yeah, a, we, leader, we should be food a leader, a leader in East Africa, called Kurunziza, called himself called for an election. Yeah, yesterday. During the COVID time, rigs it. You are saying today they have they have already finished. Rigs the election, announces the winner. Then he calls himself a paramount leader. Paramount leader, yes. That's the Africa we have. So don't blame me. Blame those who accept such leaders. You call yeah. an election during COVID-19 where people cannot even associate. People are calling on President Uhuru Kenyatta to lift today. They, 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 this whole thing here, what is it called? Lockdown, Lockdown and Lockdown. restriction. They want to die suicide now. In North, in South Korea, South Korea, which has got 
toilets which have not been in Kenya. The type of toilet in Seoul. You press it with a button and it clearly comes you. They're here, somewhere in Karen. You'll find them. In Karen. I, I know one. I know one. I've seen one. You enter and it just it senses you in and it just opens. Welcome, Dr. Matanga. <laughs> yes. You are welcome with your name. Yes. There is in Karen. <laughs> now they want to open this coffee supreme. They want supreme leader. Yes. Yeah, supreme. yeah, they want the supreme leader called called Mr. Supreme Leader Kurunziza. Yes. You know no. the problem that we have. Mm -hmm. Let Tanzania me finish. Was, in the summary, Tanzania was a very good country. Mm -hmm. It is a good country. It was. And it it's is not. a good country. Medium, it's not. It was. <laughs> it was. I want, I want now to summarize on a cool way, cool, cool down, like this. <laughs> the French arrived there and spoiled it. Mm -mm. The French arrived there and spoiled it. You know what they told Mangufuli? That if you want some money for us to dig the Tanga, Mwanza rail, you should allow money to man to marry. Did you hear that? Now tell me something else. But Magufuli refused. Yes. I have refused your aid. Yes. Okay. Now the Magufuli you are condemning took a stand and suffered. The French government said human rights abuses in Tanzania were becoming a problem. Mangafuru went to the microphone and said, Mutukwe pesa zenyu, lakini mimi, I will not accept with that condition. Mm -hmm. Now, the biggest problem of Africa in summary, and I will not talk again, is a country called, there are two countries, and or three, watch them. And those watching our show, especially those in intelligence, watch these three countries in the world. Country number one is Qatar. Country number two is France. Where you see Qatar, you see France behind because Qatar doesn't have drilling equipment. I don't know whether you know that today, the helicopter man will land this one, very strange. Qatar has no drilling equipment for oil. Qatar bids contract of gas on behalf of total oil. You get it today? When you see the war in Mozambique, in northern Mozambique, is Qatar. Qatar! But who is giving Qatar the money, the support in the Security Council? Everywhere. When United Arab Emirates said Qatar is like a Torah home in, you know the country that supported Qatar? France. You know that the plane that comes to Dar es Salaam goes to Paris first. <laughs> because Egypt and the other countries have said, don't pass near us. That Qatar airline, it has to travel very far in the Indian Ocean going towards India. Then it come to land in Dar es Salaam. So when you see that country, you know there is trouble. They went to Somalia, there is trouble. We have never had a bad relationship with governments in Somalia. We have them now. Tell me what, are we not fighting them? We have never had a bad problem in North, North Mozambique. Today, Sadaka people are meeting to flush out Al-Qaeda, ISIS, Al-Shabaab Al -Shabaab yes. brothers mm -hmm. in, in where? In uh, Delgado. In, Cab in uh, Gambo Delgado, yes. So, problems are not ours. Just as the maze was not yours. Now you left your people hungry. Your man from Mary is crying. You better address him that don't ever tell the world this again. Please, Mr. Mijue is your friend. Just tell him quietly. Keep quiet because people get annoyed. When you say we are missing Tanzania and the potatoes will not arrive. Now you are condemning Tanzania. You know very soon when you go to Meru restaurant, there could be no potatoes. There you are. I rest my case. Thank you very much, Miriam, for giving me this opportunity. 
allow African unit, thank President Uhuru Kenyatta for having delivered African unity by talking to Marco mm -hmm. Let's talk to him now. When we leave the stage, like Shakespeare, we came, we did our job, we are going off the stage. Then when Songa becomes the minister of something, mm -hmm. you become the minister of state for defense, mm -hmm. or defense minister, I think you'll see all of us. Uh, uh, Even yeah, foreign affairs. I think Miriam I think. is the BA <laughs> for foreign affairs. So you will yes. dig us from the graves. Yes. Well, we don't know. But thank you very much. All right, Major General, uh, retired Major there, Bijiri, you're parting short. I will, I will say it's always an honor to, to, to be hosted here by Dr. Matsanga. He's a father of knowledge. Uh, even for him to allow us to grow in his wisdom, you know, in my tribe, when you want your children to become warriors, you let them fight in your shoes. They wear your shoes, they take your spear and sword, they go around, throw... The children actually learn in my tribe how to throw the spear by use, throwing their father's spear. So, Dr. Matanga, thank you for letting us, you know, become relevant. And I, I can't be more grateful to you, sir. To the viewers, uh, I think we've had a, a powerful discourse. Kenyans, uh, we've been able to, you know, express... Personally, I feel I've expressed what was in my heart and the heart of many Kenyans. We were truly offended at the, at, the, at the first apology that Tanzania required of one of our of our major television networks here. It felt very insulting to us as Kenyans. It showed how, how disrespected we were, but it is what it is. Uh, I think uh, President Magufuli needs to change step. You know, when you're doing parade in the military, if you... If you if you step out the wrong way, you're told change step. So he needs to change step and step out with the rest of us. If he doesn't, then Tanzania will only have the types of Nyerere, Jakaya Kikwete, Benjamin Mukapa, <clears throat> very fine men who are awesome leaders in that country. But in the era of Magufuli, Magufuli will be like 2020. Many people don't want to count 2020 again in their history. So breaking many people news. in Tanzania will not count breaking if he doesn't news. change step. Breaking news. Breaking news. While you are, before you finish, Medium, how does it bring so many good things, man? Breaking news. President Uhuru Kenyatta has appointed, not me. <laughs> President Uhuru Kenyatta has appointed eight experts to Economic Recovery Council. Mm -hmm. This is the beginning of Waterloo. Mm -hmm. You know, Napoleon said, Winning a war is easy, but controlling the out the outcome of the war. <laughs> you remember that saying with Songa and my friend and my daughter, my oh sorry, my my sister. <laughs> President Uhuru Kenyatta has today appointed an economic council, mm -hmm. recovery council, led by well, the Oshoka Honorable. Raira Amoro Odinga, former prime minister, is the chairman of the council. Wow. Honorable Bilo Kero, Kero. former senator, is Mandera. the... Hey! Took away, I hope my name arrives here. But I'm not an icon. I don't... I understand the politics. <laughs> Dr. Simbidyeo Dibo Ushina, an agriculture expert, huh? Dr. Mohisa Kitui, former man. minister of trade, fine man, Martin Oduo Otieno, managing director of KCB. KCB, Oma. yes, fine man, awesome man. Eddie Njoroge, former yes. managing director, Kenya Kenny. Power, Kenya, what? yes. Isaac Ruto, the former governor of. Omit. Omit. <laughs> Professor Why Terry. Why did you say anything there, Major? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Wow, 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 wow. Terry who? Matanga's name is coming here also. Professor Terry. <laughs> Professor Terry Ryan, Treasury Advisor. So now, this new dispensation gives President Uhuru Mwingai Kenyak the authority to appoint people, experts, even Mr. President, 
Do something about the communication. Don't forget us with Mr. Bijichue, Miriam, Security. and uh, the jury here. I will invite. I will feature in the intelligence network. All right. I'll, I'll talk about intelligence. And uh, yeah, major, you you making your point. And, and a quick, quick comment on this. This is breaking news. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I should quick quickly before I take off. Uh, you know. Before you all, make takes off. Yeah, all countries, all countries are now building on recovery from COVID-19 effects. The effects were short-lived but immense. So, so, so appointing economic recovery council. Uh, America had the same several weeks ago, which council came up with a, a, a three-step recovery process for America. Uh, all states must test. Then, after testing, they go to stage two, then stage three, and fully, uh, fully opening up the country. Yesterday, all states opened to a certain percentage in America. So, this council guided the opening of the economy in America and the recovery. So, this council has the same challenge. To help our country recover, and I'm glad it's being led by uh, His Excellency Ayla Molo Odinga, one of our most re recover, uh, re remarkable uh, reformists. If if you were waiting for the fire to blow out, if yes. I were the one, I would just bolt out. Miriam, <laughs> 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 I, I am right. happy. Just allow me to laugh. Yes, this is a very good day. It's a great day for me. You know why? Mm -hmm. Why? Because some people have no job. We know them. Don't you see? Were they, were they consulted? What? There was a, wait, the fact does not require consulting. For the, some, fact the president can, um, in fact, Mr. President, go ahead and clean even every department. Last minute, two years. Nobody should play with economic recovery and then political recovery. Yes, sir. It's a uh, agree. Get experts, political recoverers. <laughs> Bring us. Let's hammer this guy. I'll do it. <laughs> Let him go. Uh, He's going to, 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 to donate cabbages tomorrow. Look at, look at the gentleman. You, you need to stop with the cabbage. Thank you very much, and the lady and the gentleman, I want to thank you very much. Unless you had something to yeah, say. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, we were just giving our, our passing shots there. Half a minute. Yes. yes. So uh, maybe, you, maybe 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 the song should go first. Yeah, and then I'll I'll fin and then you can uh, I'll come and then uh, we can end there. The songa, please. Yes, uh, maybe um, for my closing remarks, I'll tend to apply a little bit of diplomacy. And uh, to what Dr. Masanga said about uh, the moonlight, you remember it's Chino Achebe who said that uh, when you see kinsmen gathering together for a meal, they do not do so because uh, they lack food in their homesteads. If uh, they meet in the dark of the night, they do not do so because uh, they can't see the moonlight from uh, the comfort of their homes. They do so because they have to forge a common agenda, one which is uh, noble uh, for the entire community. And uh, that goes to our Kenyan side, the way they approach the, these uh, conflicts. Of course, uh, uh, the President Uhuru Kenyatta has extended an olive branch to his Tanzanian counterpart, and that is a very good move from our government. But however, I would like to maintain my earlier stand that uh, Tanzania should be let know that uh, we do have quite a sovereign state and uh, we shall stand up and defend our sovereignty and the decision that pertains the interests of the people of Kenya. So to me, that's how I sum it up. All right. Thank you very much. And I think I'll just uh, we are going to see, add. Yes. We're going to see recovery committees. Someone has sent me a message here. Okay. I think I'm not very far from what I've just said, Miriam. There are okay. recovery committees in foreign affairs, recovery committee in communication, recovery committee in health, recovery committee. Are we going to a bureau? Bureau. We are going to recover. We need, we need to recover. So, so um, 
my my parting shot on on today's conversation is that uh, I'm happy. Well, President Magufuli was addressing uh, Tanzanians there yesterday in Singinda region. He said that you know this COVID-19 is a problem that was brought about from China. Uh, so that is very good because initially they made it look like uh, COVID-19 was a problem that uh, was brought by uh, Kenya uh, because from what that official said, and that official his name is Martin uh, Shingela when he said that Kenyans uh, should okay uh, na corona it appeared as though Kenya is the manufacturer of this corona so I'm happy that he knows that this is not a problem that emanated from Kenya this is a problem that uh, was imported from outside there and we're all just trying to deal with it the best way we know how so now after that I'm happy that uh, the diplomatic talks are going on within Kenya, within uh, Kenya and Tanzania, because at the end of the day, we still need each other. We still need to trade with each other. We, we are benefiting from each other. Uh, so the relationship uh, needs to be uh, worked on and needs to be improved. Uh, but also, we need to come out and speak, uh, you know, uh, truth. And uh, Tanzania, I think, is, was just trying to use this opportunity. My advice to Tanzania, and maybe they should take it or not. Uh, Tanzanian government should stop with the side shows. Our president, Pombe Magufuli, with all uh, due respect, sir, just deal with the coronavirus in your country the way you should. Stop with the side shows. Uh, president Uru Kenyatta is trying to deal with the coronavirus in Kenya the best way he knows how. So just lead that fight from the front. And uh, so that when you fight from that side, President Uru Kenyatta fights from this side. We can win this war together. Uh, so uh, Kenya should not be a scapegoat. No, we're all dealing with the same problem. And so let's stop with the side shows and deal with the real problem, which is coronavirus. It is affecting Tanzania, it is affecting Kenya, it is affecting Uganda and other uh, countries in Africa and indeed the whole globe. So uh, let's let's stop it. Let's just deal with it so that we're able to end it together. Together, when we come together, then we're able to finish uh, this uh, coronavirus. So thank you so much. And also, yeah, I think it's uh, from from that conversation about uh, the Ministry of uh, you know, Agriculture yesterday saying Kenya has no food. I think while well, President Ru Kenyatta is having those uh, recovery uh, you know, committees, uh, they really, really, really need to relook at the agriculture ministry at a sector in this country. Kenya, 21st century, we should be able to, to feed ourselves. So I was ashamed uh, yesterday as a Kenyan. I did not feel very good about that news. Even if you're trading with Tanzania, that's OK. But we should be able to be uh, uh, food uh, sufficient in this, in this country i mean potatoes we can produce them and these are the very basic things we can produce them even as we continue trading with our neighboring countries but we should be able to be uh, food sufficient in this day and age so uh president Ru Kenyatta, you have a challenge on your court there relook while you're looking at the ministries please relook and strategize moving forward thank you very much viewers i want to thank you very much for having eaten Miriam's topic. And we, we, <clears throat> we want to say, Miriam, we want to do your topic tonight so that Stephen can link us up. We do it with Wesonga yourself for 40 minutes. We go off. What do you think? Tonight, it's uh, quite it's OK. Let's go. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Stephen can link us, but for now, the diplomatic leak takes a leap. Mm -hmm. Cut. How do you cut already? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Are we still, yes. are we still on air? We're off air. Bye bye. Not must be our goal and our guide. And all that we strive for as a human family, dignity and hope, progress and prosperity, depends on peace. But peace depends on us.